Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. We are at war, we screwed up, but I think we might be able to recover. Uh, something that <laughs> is really stupid, I don't know why I thought about that earlier. Something that we can do is just um, get a bunch of loans and merc up. It's really expensive, but we can do it if it's necessary. Ooh, there is another ID. Do we need it? No, we don't. So let's save the admin for now. Um, yeah, you are quite successful at sieging our vassal. That's rather unfortunate. We have to siege all that land back. Uh, we might see if we can get him out of the war. They are negotiating for themselves. Can we get war, war reps? Yes, we can. And... Maybe annul the treaty with these guys. Oh, that's not possible. Uh, let me think. How much money do I want? And how much am I willing to sacrifice to gain a bit of money? Because if I piece him out early. Yeah. yeah, you should come down here, mate. If I peace out early, him uh, peace him out early, I have more opportunity to attack this guy, and he might get dogpiled by Karaki, Yunlu, and the Timurids if I'm not careful. So that would mean that I have difficulty getting the course of Basra. But do it. Am I? Am I happy with just boar reps? Or is there anything else that I want? Uh, it's neg negative 71, so... Yeah, this is something that we can get soon. Let's, let's wait... Uh, uh, let's wait a while. Um, unless he's making really good progress, let's wait a while. He, before we can siege my capital, my capital's quite well defended. It has a capital fort, of course, and it's in a desert, so I get a, uh, a terrain bonus. Really happy I took that now. I didn't make good use of it uh, the first uh, part of the war. This was really a, a really bad move by me. Should have let him attack me in the swamp, maybe. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. No, uh, no blockade. How are we doing on a peace deal? I kind of want to uh, to get his ducats as well. Minus two. If we can get him uh, some more war exhaustion, would help us. Yeah, now he is sieging. Uh, this is gonna take a while before he can siege Katif. Katif is a level 2 fort, so that's gonna take a little bit longer. So I should be done before he gets Katif, unless he's very lucky. Uh, land technology. Yeah, what do we want? This prestige? What does prestige give us? Sieging the fort. Nothing really. The morale of armies is quite nice. And I'm not gonna get a military tech anytime soon. Does he have mil tech 6? Yes. Fortunate. I'm not sure if I'm not gonna get it soon. I'd get it. it could have gotten it maybe at next year, but. Ugh. Should have sacrificed the prestige, I guess. Ooh, uh, big chunk of colonial range, not really helpful for us. I'm still doubting my <laughs> religious ID's first decision. Um, I think I would have been better off with a military ID, but that gives you 
difficulties in getting the ID and the military tag. But still, maybe they did the uh, probably the first IDs of quantity, or maybe even the first three would have been a huge help for us. And this is almost Limland. Most of it is Sunni, so yeah, that's it's a bit of a, a problem. Ah, the liberty desire is high, but that's mainly because they uh, have issues being occupied. Better exports, nice. A 21% chance, come on, please finish. Ah, uh, he's doing uh, uh, a little dance here. Should really come to me and reinforce me, come on. Uh, maybe if I can give you this province as an objective, maybe you will listen. Come on, listen. Come down here. Nope, don't listen. AI being an AI. Alright, uh, importing naval supplies, diplomatic power, or to mercantilism. Um, we like the diplo power, but we're, all, we're having a bit of a... We, we have enough diplo. Let's take the tank. Right. Ooh, there's a siege done. Quickly uh, get some peace in our time, and cannot get the land because we cannot make it a core. This is so far away. Do we, don't we have coring range all the way down here? Uh, maybe. We, yeah, we have end rivalry. No, no end. Uh, King Imagic and the treaty. And maybe we should end all treaties? No, that's not. Let's get a, a big chunk of money for reps and end of the treaty. And we can use probably use a bunch of that money to buy some mercenaries. Gonna cost us a bit of money, a bit of army professionalism, but we didn't have any to begin with. Oh, we had some, but not anymore. Yeah, come. Come and join me. And then we're gonna kick his butt. Kick his butt. 14.5k on 11k and uh, we get the terrain bonus he does have a good fire leader I don't have a leader in charge I should probably cancel this and maybe we can get a leader from the tribes yes we can ooh three shock three siege oh we should have done it earlier there we go. Gonna kick your butt. Three bonus in the shock phase. That's really helpful. Yeah, we managed to turn this war around. It's probably going... Ah, crap! I can't go past the forts because he... sieged them down. No! I have to siege down these forts. Detach a siege, go here and then there. No! So wait, I have to stay here, siege this fort? Alright. Gonna siege the fort. We got three siege generals, so it shouldn't take too long. Gonna take a while, of course, but we can wait. Uh, do we want to keep the mercs? Yeah, I think we do. 4,000 men that we don't need to reinforce ourselves. Yeah. Let's do that. Scorched Earth. Uh, development. Yeah, we probably should. Could do something with Scorched Earth, maybe. Maybe someday. Uh, Miltech. Seven. 
Um, yes, please. We probably sh could get a cannon. We probably should get a cannon to help us out with the siege. Uh, it's gonna take us alone. Alone. Build a cannon. Uh, how long does that cannon take to build? Not enough manpower. Oh, by the way, yeah, that's that's true. We don't have the manpower to build. How much does a mercenary cannon cost? Wow. That's expensive. And it costs us two, almost two ducats a month. Yeah, maybe we should not do that. And let's shift consolidate. And yeah, we probably can get rid of these three regiments. And keep them here for now. Quite a bit above our force limit. And over our force limit. That costs us four ducats a month. I don't think it's really worth it. We're gonna disband these guys. That saves us a lot of money. They're still over our force limit, are we? Yes, we are by one unit. And you can stay behind. The rest will reinforce you. Hopefully we will be in time, come on! How far are we? Yes, we are in time. And we get the terrain bonus. So that should help, yeah. It's quite expensive. And we, did, we barely lost any troops there. And most of the losses uh, were for our vassal. Our march, I should say. Can I send generals to him? To give his enable send officers a morale of armies and discipline. Yeah, let's do that. It's gonna cost us a little bit of money, but it will really help us. But morale, move five towards legalism, get a bit of loyalty. Yes, please, it's okay. Yeah, we, we should take as much as possible here. Maybe even everything. Can we take everything? The total war score cost is 474. I think we should do it. Uh, take it all for our vassal and then start integrating our vassal. May or use a keep our vassal around. Or maybe just give our vassal his course and we take the rest for ourselves. Um, the problem is we are a bit boxed in here. Eric Yunli is not really very happy. Very, not very nice. It's a big country. So we probably have to look south for more expansions. Same against a bit of influence. Do we really want this blockade? He's blockading us. Giving us a bit of war score. Not sure. The blockade, yeah, it's giving us quite a bit of war score actually. Um, and. Ooh, I broke the siege! No! Almost broke the siege. Ah, we're too late, aren't we? Should pay more attention. Come on, crap, we are too late. But we should still beat them handily. Yeah, we got the three bonus in the shock phase. That's really helping us a lot. We stack wipe him. I think we did. There we go. Always nice. Uh, the problem is we can't reach his land, so... <laughs> that's gonna take forever. If he keeps coming back with troops. Come on, be lucky, 21%. Uh, I probably should keep the uh, the tan stack separate. And the Simrits have started influence nation on Davasir. Hmm. The influence of the Simrits is far too big. I am not really comfortable being boxing between the Mamluks, the Ottomans, and the Timurids. Uh Somehow we need to figure out a way to make sure that one of these guys 
goes down. And I kind of want it to be the Mamluks because that would give us the opportunity to spread into this direction. Yemen, ooh, someone formed Yemen. Yemen, do you have any, any allies? Yeah, Miklav. It's not too bad. Yemen has quite nice lands. 12 of development, wow. This is good land. Ooh, don't you dare. Can we snipe us? Five stack, yes we can. Can we stack wipe his five stack? That's the question. Ooh, we have over nine. Even our one is almost as good as his five. So that's good. Uh, once we start sieging this, he at least he cannot um, bypass our, uh, our siege. Let's see, gain army tradition, the Amir uh, will become uh, quite loyal. In two and a half army professionalism, it's tempting. But army tradition, does army tradition help us with... Yeah, army tradition also helps us with siege ability. And with morale, man power recovery speed, recover morale speed. I think uh, we go for uh, army tradition and we have a disloyal merchants that we could grant them monopoly charters. Spend a bit of our plentiful prestige. Oh, we can uh, continue here. Knowledge is power. Uh, let's lose a bit of prestige. Really want to bother with the unrest. Let me snipe that back. Come on! In time! Is this enough? Yes. Right, we cannot move there. Can we move there? No, not really. Did he, did he just build a fort here? No. I don't want to occupy his entire nation so he cannot build any more troops. The problem is we cannot uh, everywhere. So let's get rid of this one stack. This is one army, I should say. And I probably... Wait. Can I not? Um, let's leave behind a single unit. Not a single unit. Let's bring a, a mercenary over there as well. And we're gonna use these two units to uh, occupy the rest of his nation. And then we're gonna siege down his capital. By the way, uh, Basra. Where are you? Where is your army? Oh, you get stack wiped, right? Wait, I can uh, I can stop sending offices then. Um, liberty desire goes up, but saves us a bit of money. We don't need to uh, spend money on that. Do I want the admin tax six? Or do I prefer the IDs? Um, pretty sure. I want to keep continue. I I think I will hold, put these on hold for now. Get the uh, admin. Now it's still uh, keep next month. It will be expensive. Still uh, quite ahead of. Are we ahead? No, we're not ahead with admin. Behind. Oh, there's one province. Let's put this on speed 2 or 3. 
yeah, we're gonna wrap up this war in the next episode. Uh, thank you for watching, and as always, let me know what I can do differently. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this in the future. I know I'm fairly casual compared to uh, a lot of other streamers and YouTubers and stuff like that. I'm not really that great, but I want to improve. I only played this game for 200 hours. I know that sounds crazy <laughs> when I say I only, but uh, I have a lot to learn, and I think this, this campaign is going to be a big learning experience for me. And I hope that you are willing to help me along. Well, for now, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!